Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about finding the work done in propelling a satellite over Earth. Okay. So, let me share my computer screen with you. It says, neglecting air resistance and the weight of the propellant determine the work done in propelling a 10-ton satellite to a height of 11,000 miles above the Earth. Assume the radius of the Earth is 4,000 miles. Okay. So, solution. Okay. So, we know the weight of the bear, the weight of a body varies inversely as the square of its distance from the center of the earth. Center of the earth. Of the earth. Okay. <clears throat> so the force exerted force exerted by gravity is F is equal to K where K is a constant of proportionality over x square. Now we are given f is 10 tons k and the weight of the satellite is uh, 10 tons, right? And on the surface of the earth, okay? It is uh, X is 4,000 feet because the radius of the earth is 4,000 miles. So this will lead to K is equal to 10 times 4,000 square, which is 160 million. Okay. So it creates some space. So now you're propelling this satellite from the surface of the earth. That is from the center of the earth. The surface of the earth is 4,000 feet. From that 4,000 miles rather, you are going another 11,000 miles. So your total distance covered is 11,000 plus 4,000 is 15,000 miles. So the work done is force times is force multiplied by dx, okay? Or force multiplied by small distance integrated from the surface of the earth, which is 4,000 miles from the center of the earth to a distance of 11,000 miles above the surface of the earth, which is 15,000 miles from the center of the earth. So work is equal to f dx, in this case, it is integration from 4,000 to 11,000. Don't forget from the center another 4,000 miles. So that's the upper limit of integration. And it is, it is k over x square dx, okay? So this is equal to limits are from 4,000 to 15,000. 
and k is 160,000 divided by x square dx. Okay. So, if you integrate this, okay, let me create some space and it becomes It becomes uh, W is equal to, I'll take the 160,000 outside the integration, 160,000 divided, I um, mean, in integration 1 over x squared dx from 4,000 to 15,000 is equal to you know I have several zeros come less this is also yeah erase this k is hundred and sixty million so hundred and sixty million and three zeros similarly here three zeros one of them so 160 million and uh, this is x to the power of minus 2 in the numerator so it's x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 in the denominator x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 limits are from 4000 to 15000 okay so that is equal to 160 million x to the power of minus one by minus one or it is equal to 160 million minus one over x and the limits are still from 4,000 to, sorry, 4,000. So I've got one more zero than I miss the lower limit. And the upper limit is 15,000. Again, this upper limit is 15,000, 4,000. So if I create some more space, Work is equal to 160 million times. Because it's negative, the limits are um, exchanged. So it is actually you can uh, write it as uh, my uh, so minus one over x. So actually the limits will be exchanged. So it will be, uh, the lower limit will become the upper limit minus one over 15,000. Okay. So I will need the help of my calculator to do this calculation, but of course I can do the calculation in the parenthesis. 160 million, 160 million. So one more zero. One over 4,000 minus one over 15,000. So four thousand. One over 4,000 plus or minus, sorry. Minus one over fifteen thousand. Okay. Inside the parenthesis is equal to one point eight eight. Sorry, one point eight three three. Eight three three. 
times 10 to the power of minus 4. So the whole thing is uh, 1.6 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied by 1, 2, 3. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Times 10 to the power of 8 multiplied by 1.833 times 10 to the power of minus 4. And that is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of 8 multiplied by 1.833 10 to the power of minus 4. And the answer is Two point two nine three two eight mile done. Remember, we are going from four thousand mile to fifteen thousand mile. So it's mile done, and that in one mile, how many feet are there? So two nine three two eight mile multiplied by. In one mile, there is 17,060 yards, and one yard is three feet, so 5,280. Mm, okay, so uh, I did it wrong. So this will be multiplied by. Five thousand two hundred and eighty feet per mile times ton. So that will be equal to multiplied by five thousand two hundred and eighty, which is one point. Five four eight times one two three four five six seven eight ten to the power of eight mile ton. Now in ton, say if I create some more space, one ton is two thousand pounds. So is equal to. 1.548 times 10 to the power of 8 mile times ton times 2,000 pounds per ton. So this ton and this ton cancels. Huh? Like here, this mile and this mile. I mean, sorry, this mile and this mile cancels. So... Correct this. This is my uh, so my or I'm wrong, it's fit done if I've already taken care of that even so. Is fit. So, is fit. So that is equal to times two thousand. Is three point one. 3.1 times 10 to the power of 11 feet pound, which is the normal unit for work, not mile ton, not feet ton, 
but feet pounds. So converted into feet per pounds, you need three times 10 to the power of 11 to lift a satellite, to lift a satellite, uh, which is 10 tons in weight from the surface of the earth, which is 4,000 miles from the center of the earth to a distance of 11,000 miles above the surface of the earth or 15,000 miles, miles from the center of the earth. So a lot of work you need. That's why we need a lot of propellant to leave these, uh, leave these uh, rockets containing these satellites. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can give me a call. Uh, I mean, you can write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll appreciate that. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.